So let's begin. And um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Nine of Swords. Some of you, either you are uh, concerned uh, with, the, with an Earth sign, or this is about nurturing and stability and a financial situation with this person. Queen of Pentacles, she's all about the house, the home, so we might have, um, you know, concerns about it. And Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Swords, they definitely betrayed us. They backstabbed us in such a painful way. And now we are very cautious a little bit in our mind, trying to understand what's going on, trying to heal the pain, um, give the situation some perspective. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this is about staying stable and loving and strong and emotionally strong and in charge of your emotions through challenging times. So it is a beautiful energy, by the way. I love this. I might be picking up um, same-sex connection. We do have two queens and now we have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, that is love between you and this person. There are emotions, uh, a desire to communicate them, a desire to address stability and love. And the last shuffle and then we start two of pentacles and yet that is insecurity and juggling and a lot of effort maybe one-sided effort two of pentacles is working for two right in order to keep the situation up and running keeping it in balance um, and um, working out actually now Aries let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy and we do have the seven of pentacles and the world, I love this, and the five of swords and justice. Oh my God, such a beautiful energy. <clears throat> and the ace of pentacles. You know what? I am picking up on a conflict that happened between you and this person. Three of swords, look here. Look, 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 look here. And maybe a Capricorn, we had the queen of pentacles all along, and now we have the devil. So we had a conflict. We had heartbreak. We had harsh words. Five of Swords is really taking advantage and it's um, exchanging harsh words and hurting words with the Three of Swords. And then somebody walked away, said, you know what? I really need my peace of mind. I really want to be in one piece again. I am done waiting. That's a world with the Seven of Pentacles. I am done being patient, being tolerant about this. And here I am bringing justice to a situation and bringing a new beginning. I love the attitude there is. And this is such an Aries attitude in a sense that determined, you know, I am having a plan. I am bringing justice to the table. I'm bringing balance and I do so with kindness. That's the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to bring to the table whatever has to be in order to ha have some justice for both of us and I'm done and I'm out of here. That's beautiful. It can be a marriage that um, ended with a lot of pain and trouble. Um, toxic energies, right? The devil and the empress might be the father of your children, the mother of your children, but it was harsh, it was harsh, but at the end of the day, who has time to waste in um, energies like this, right? Entangled in all kinds of um, um, stuff that people uh, throw on us, right? So, um, Aries, let's see, baby. Past energies in the, uh, on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And in terms of zodiac signs, you only have Libra, just in case you are wondering. And the possible outcome, okay, you get three for uh, mutual energies. And we have nine of wands. We are most certainly blocking the nonsense. We are victorious by blocking the nonsense. You have two cards of blocking. For some of you, Aries, this is guidance. And it's like, I do not need poisonous love. Right? I am on my way to ascension. That is no way I am going to have. So somebody is blocking something that is not good. Not good. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. Something that's hurting. I'm done, done, done hurting. Right? This is the energy I'm picking up here, baby. 
So Aries, let's see. Let's see what is this all about. But already the overall energy walking away um, to calm the waters. I'm like, okay, hell calm me in, right? <laughs> Just saying. Not that I need calmer waters. I am in calmer waters, uh, thank God. But I'm saying, you know. Um, calm me in every time somebody decides to... Um, well, and speaking of blocking. And speaking of, nope. I have done everything, right? That's a seven of wands. This is my territory. This is me. This is me time. I'm done. I I put all the work that was needed. I put a lot of effort and a lot of dedication. I've learned all the tricks and I've been kind of um, in a learning uh, process all along and now I'm done. Seven of wands. I believe Aries. Uh, you had enough so far the reading is all that I'm hearing is I've had enough I've had enough good good um, and it's, we had to go right we had while well, shuffling the nine of swords and the ten of swords and the three of swords so absolutely it was um, kind of a, a, a bloodbath right a, a battlefield and um, you know and um, I'm sensing a lot of verbal um, because of the swords um, and also some, you know, some um, enemy, uh, some uh, the mind being the enemy here with the Nine of Swords. But at the end of the day, we had a lot of swords in our back. So that's um, actually what you did in the past. It was amazing. Kind of the universe coming in and validating. Um, it was harsh. You worked hard. So now it's about time to block. But make sure you continuously block, right? Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort to block something that doesn't serve you and on the contrary hurts you and brings you on your knees um now aries this person of yours they have the king of wands which is honestly your energy king of wands is the aries energy and the king of cups might be a pisces cancer scorpio they came to the table with love right in terms of energies exchanged they of course can be a pisces cancer scorpio but yet your energy is all over them so King of Cups is the energy of love, the energy of emotions. Again, I might be picking up the energy of same-sex um, connection. We have two kings here. Um, but I'm um, I'm sensing something that was mature. They, me they meant, right? Something uh, mature and stable. They knew they had emotions and a big cup of love. If you're wondering um, if they ever loved you, yeah, yeah, there was... But there was conflict. Look here. Oh my God. There was, I mean, this is such an expressive combination of energies. We had one in the Knight of Wands, the Warrior one. And we had the other one in the Nine of Wands, um, the protection mode. One was attacking, one was protecting himself or herself, right? So absolutely different energies around the table. And because we have the energy of two kings, it kind of tells me, and might have been a lot of ego, a lot of um, exchanges um, from two different power places. Because King of Cups is a power place in itself in terms of emotions. And we can say things through our emotions and we can um, um, make them work for us, right? Um, exactly with the King of Wands coming from a place of passion and... Uh, the maturity of a passion this is who i am you know this is what puts me on fire and also um uh, not arguing but coming to this connection from a place of um of ego and passion and pride and um accomplishment because that's a king of wands right accomplishment um and a form of leadership that is extremely in your face while the king of cups can be a little bit more emotional and uh, so we came to the table from with different but in the process somebody got hurt and the more we see the energies i believe that both of you got hurt um one for having to be in the warrior mode to get something while the other person was in the defensive mode because they felt attacked so um the energy i'm picking up is um is this one so um where are we right now, Aries? We do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. 
I love the cautiousness of the Knight of um, Pentacles. This is the energy I'm going to go slow. I'm going to focus on my stability. I'm going to heal myself. It's the energy of nurturing. Action, slow action, because we are still hurt. Ten of Swords, it is over, right? It is not over. You know how it works in tarot, but the idea is that that struggle, this struggle in particular, the one that you started in the past, the one that hurt you so much, it is over and now it's kind of healing time, um, stability time, building something new. I don't feel you start from scratch. Any of the cards is saying we are talking endings and patience, but we are already at Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, building solid. And of course, if we are coming from a king kind of energy, we know what we want. We are mature. We have a plan. We have the clarity of the mind and the maturity of the experience and the control of the emotions, right? Because that's being a king. It's really being in um, in control and having this um, uh, personal development, you know, up to um, more than up the standard. So, so we are building and not starting from scratch, but it still hurts. Of course, the universe is showing up. Well, now Aries, this person of yours. Well, they are in the Seven of Swords energy. And Seven of Swords energy in this deck, look here. What have I done? Right? That's the Seven of Swords here. This is what in the world have I done? And why are they questioning themselves about this? Because of Four of Pentacles. By excellence, the energy of firm foundations and stability. Saving for the future. This is pu uh, putting money aside. Um... And it's a symbol, money, of stability, of things um, you want to have, things you want to buy, possessions. And somehow they got hit and now they are questioning themselves, what have I done? Seven of Swords. I love this because it kind of tells me that they question themselves about the tricky way, the, the way they tricked our, uh, themselves out of stability, right? You know when you want to do something and you think, oh, I'm going, I'm going to have that advantage, and we cut corners or we do something that we are not very proud of, uh, in the hope that at the end of all this it will be a benefit somewhere. Well, guess what? They just realized they cheated themselves out of stability, firm foundations with you, and they have headaches over the situation. You know, the person is like holding their head and it's like zoot. You know, didn't see that coming. Um, mutual energies between you and this person. We do have the strength, um, Leo energy and the page of pentacles. I am sensing here the energy of staying strong, staying courageous and making the effort. Page of pentacles, of course, it's an offer. It's communication. I don't feel any of it. I don't think that is communication actually right now. One is um, hidden with um, guilt in the dark while the other person is healing slowly, steadily, uh, methodically. That's a knight of pentacles, right? He has a method and goes by it step by step by step slowly. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sorry. Mm, you know, <laughs> it's kind of um, the hiccup. Um, and then um, it's more sen I'm, I'm more sensing like an investment in your own strength and courage, both of you. I'm sure you want to um, um, kind of contain yourself and they want to contain themselves. And with the Page of Pentacles, like, okay, let me, you know, be a little bit stable. Let me give myself this offer of, okay, you have to be courageous. You have to be strong. You have to be, you have to be, you know. And it's the energy of investing in their own courage and and you do just the same you know now moving forward we do have the queen of swords and the eight of wands this is the energy of being passionate about the future and in the same time with a clear mind um eight of wands is um you know getting things up and running getting your mojo back while with the queen of swords she um embodies the energy of experience and life lessons and she knows she just knows and she stays strong based on whatever she went through so i believe what's coming your way 
it's the universe saying baby you'll get your strength back and your mojo back right and your passion um Aries this person is so worried that they will lose you probably they see the healing you are going through the way you do things the way you get your mojo back the way you work on yourself the way you become passionate about life again while being staying while staying extremely smart about the steps you take and they are afraid of losing you nine of swords with the emperor this is your energy afraid having headaches it's like no i do not want to lose my um, aries based on a mistake now mutual energies between you and this person we do have the high priestess uh, both of you staying a little bit quiet but actually wanting a new beginning ace of swords with the ten of pentacles right um this is the clarity of a stability of some sort and um this is the energy of i f I, I will focus i'll get a plan to establish my um, legacy my future my financial stability i do believe that both of you you are focused on stability one uh, in a in a different sense on your side knight of pentacles is let me get on my feet again that's a knight of pentacles step by step let let me be smart about whatever is coming your way and the energy is shifting around me while this person is very focused on st financial stability roots foundations money um having enough that's the four of pentacles is uh the miser right say saving because we feel that our dark times are coming and they are afraid that you are going to let them go right so we have here the high priestess awakening and also silence and stillness but we have this ace of swords clarity of the mind in regards to stability or a stability plan right for both of you I'm not sensing you are coming together. Um, any of the of the cards is saying that you are coming together, but longing for stability and building roots and and going back to a state of um, of ease, financial ease, or in terms of um, um, being able to plan for tomorrow, kind of energy, you know. So uh, some of you have kids with this person and. Um, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles is actually being smart about the kids, about the legacy, about the family, their stability, how to build, how to plan for the future. If that is a separation, we do have justice and the world. It's a clear indication of an ending here. And we are getting more and more clear, I would say. They get more concerned. The more you get clear, the more they get concerned of your clarity. But I believe we had enough, right? we simply had enough that's how i'm feeling here now aries let's ask for some guidance let's see what we um need to know and do separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon look at the bottom of the deck deception baby this is a confirmation there was a deception seven of swords on their side there was a deception and that is a separation someone is wearing a self a false self mask in this relationship we let them go we let them go we stay separated that was deception i don't feel the universe is um, leading you towards this person actually on the contrary they bring you opportunities eight of wands is the energy of opportunities and the queen of swords is like let me make smart choices now let's have some guardian angels i'm going i'm going to have only two and then we go with the energies that we need to um we do have the tower i was so expecting it um aries out with the old in with the new baby heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life this is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth and we do have the hierophant so this is a marriage going boom this is a commitment that looked solid ten of pentacles it was solid it was strong and it's going boom and that's all right to go boom and we have the hierophant Taurus energy and it says this is a time of great spiritual growth well a tower moment and we are all going through a tower moment anyways 
but it says this is a time of great spiritual growth for you making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs so they clearly aren't sharing your beliefs so be willing to accept help from others you could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas hierophant is also institutions organizations is um aid right so some of you are guided because we have two major arcana some of you it's kind of like the universe saying that was a big deception we are in separation we might have financial struggles we need to start over our life but out with the old in with the new and there are there are resources out there because the hierophant is about the church it's about the helping it's about the organizations in place to help you so aries let's have some um guidance let's see what energies we need to get back in the flow and aries this is not by mistake baby surrender to receiving support and love right surrender to receiving support and love that's exactly the hierophant so it says allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself this can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you so ask for help okay do not stay in this by yourself we do have failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn uh, well, Queen of Swords is all about learning. It's all about past experience and now she's uh, smarter, she's brighter. And that's exactly the energy, you know? Yeah, that was a deception, but in it, that is a lesson that we don't need to repeat. We have courage and it's strength. You do have very strength as uh, at the core of the reading. You have the strength and the Page of Pentacles. And strength is about inner strength and courage. And you now get an, another repeat card and it says i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence i love this i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and we have kindness this is my best card i simply love it because we need to send kindness out into the world even when we've been deceived so you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others kindness right you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share um the energy with others and we have bottom of the deck surrender fear let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself stay in the moment focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward do not be afraid. Courage and surrender fear. It's again a confirmation, Aries. There is no need to be fearful. Right? Might look like a failure, but actually it's a lesson in it. And it's a way to see things differently. Not only a lesson, not that we always need a lesson, right? But that that is a that is a seed of wisdom in whatever happened to you. And now we are much stronger and now we know how to manage this, right? So Aries, this is all that I have for you guys. Please stay safe and strong for me. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.